today we're gonna be coloring one of my original characters. What I do first when I start coloring is I create a layer, which uh, is gonna be basically the main layer for all of the colors. And then I drag the lines layer above it because that always needs to stay above all of the colors. I pick up the magic wand tool and make sure that I have the lines layer selected. And I click everywhere where I don't want things to be selected. We're gonna go to select, uh, modify and expand. I usually go with three pixels and then we click okay. And as you can see, the selection is within the lines. Right click, select inverse. We need to make sure that we have the color folder selected. And then we're gonna click this button that's down here, which is uh, for the layer mask. Anything we draw on the picture is going to stay within the lines because we mask the whole layer for the colors. Create a layer inside that folder and you fill it with uh, the bucket tool with any color you want. So if you select the lasso tool and click the color folder, and then you got to make sure that you click the mask. And then all you got to do is just pick the bits that you don't want to be colored and you just click delete. And then you can just do that with the whole artwork. We can go ahead and start coloring the different pieces of the artwork. So I would suggest for the main one for the skin tone to uh, grab the magic wand tool again and just uh, make sure you, you select the lines layer again and then just uh, click where you know the skin tone is going to be. And once again, if you press shift and click on the hand, it's gonna select the hand and it's gonna add it to the selection. I make a new layer within the color folder and I pick a color for the skin tone. Then we just basically repeat the process. All we gotta do is we just pick a gray or black color and we just drag across the screen and that's gonna basically select the hair press. And of course we have to color her eyes as well. I usually try to make the colors on the separate layers a little bit more interesting. You can just pick your hair layer and then you can create a new layer above it and then you can clip it. So that's a clipping mask. So here I usually use a default soft brush and what I do is I, I color pick her hair color and I uh, drag the slider a bit higher so we, we get a bit of a lighter color. You can lower the opacity of the brush and you can just make the top of her head a bit lighter. I'm gonna just make the, the ends uh, deep purple like this. And I'd like to do the same thing with the skin. Give her a bit of a highlight and I give her some blush on her cheeks. Some parts of the skin are gonna be a bit darker because they're hidden. And we can do the same with all the other layers. So we gotta think about her spell, which is in her hand. That's this color, Spell Fill. I'm gonna lock it and make it the same color as the gemstones on her jacket. I take the fill layer of the spell and I duplicate. You can do that by tapping Control J. So you go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And you can see that it creates a bit of a glow. I'm gonna set to uh, Screen. And then we're going to take the original layer and we're going to duplicate it again. Go again to uh, blur it, but make it a little bit less intense. And I'm going to set that to color dodge, which is going to make it shinier. We're going to create another folder and this one I'm going to call effects. Within that layer, I'm going to create a new layer. Let's do highlights first. First, we're going to pick the highlight color. So we're gonna fill the whole layer with that color, and then we're gonna set the layer to screen. So we're gonna create a layer mask on top of that layer, and we're gonna fill it with black. You can just kind of highlight the parts that you think should be highlighted. Of her jacket should be highlighted as well. Side of her thigh. You take the uh, lasso tool, and you can delete the bits that you don't want to have highlighted. It's really important to add those tiny little adjustments because they make all the difference. <laughs> Let's actually create a new layer. Let's call it shadows, this color maybe. Set it to multiply this time because this is a shadows layer. And once again, like we did before, we create a layer mask and we fill it with black. So I'm just gonna quickly select that part that I want to edit. And then I pick white and a soft brush and I add a bit of a darker color. So yeah, I'm just um, adding the most obvious uh, shadows. We didn't manage to finish it completely, but at least it looks like a somewhat finished project. Thank you so much for joining us today, Maya. I had a blast with you. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.